What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Bad Wolf channel, otherwise known as James C. Lovett. But don't forget, I also have the James C. Lovett. Well, no, no, I've got the bad. Okay, I've got a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right, so this particular video is about authenticating in Georgia. Now, for those people who don't know, because, well, this may not apply to you, and, well, you wouldn't know unless you lived there or you were born there. Uh, but each state has its own unique way of doing the authentication process. Now, remember, some states call it authenticating when, in fact, they're actually either apostilling or certifying. Okay, so beware of what you're asking for. Make sure that you reiterate that you need it for a non-Hague country and that you want it to not be in the Hague system, okay? So, no to Hague, you want to send your document to a non-Hague country, okay? Do you authenticate? Now, some of them, which is also weird, actually will say it's an apostille, but it's actually an authentication. It's Each state can actually do what they want a little bit differently, but ask them. Is this for something that makes my document non-Hague, because I'm sending it to a non-Hague country, write non-Hague next to the country? Remember, right now it should be either Egypt or Taiwan are my top go-to um, uh, countries. Also, if you're not sure, go to the Department of State travel website, right, where you get your passports and stuff. and Or you can go on Google and type in Department of State travel um, Hague or list of Hague countries. This will show you the list and on that particular list you'll be able to see if your country is on there Well, it's Hague. Okay, period. A lot of these so-called websites out there are scammers Or have misleading information or outdated information. Some of these countries trade up and some trade down all the time So be sure you're getting the right information. I knew in some of my older videos I said certain countries that are no longer part of the non-Hague. They got hagued up in the corner. Like that uncle be doing, the weird uncle, you know what I'm talking about, at all the parties. Yeah, you didn't feel that real nice like, boy, or girl, or both y'all, or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> so this particular video is brought to you by, we'll just say LP. LP, thank you for providing information because you guys are the wolf's eyes and ears out there because that's how wolves work. When one howls, we hear it. And we share it, all right? So we know where the goods, the bads, and the uglies are. So this particular video, once again, is for authenticating in Georgia, okay? So uh, it's, the email starts off, hey, dude, bad wolf. Uh, I wanted to give you some insight on what a person in Georgia must do and where they must go to get their seal for their birth certificate to get it authenticated, okay? So in Georgia... You must go to or mail to the Secretary of State, which is located at um, 2 Martin Luther King Drive, Southeast, Suite 802, Atlanta, Georgia, 3034. Attention, Great Seal. All right. Then you must have a cover letter explaining why you need the seal. A payment of $10 for each document. If you mail, it must be a check or a cashier's check, along with a self-addressed stamped envelope, or a S-A-S-E. You might see that sometimes. Basically, it's just they're tired of sending things out on their dime, which is actually not their dime, it's our dime. So they're flipping it once again back on us. All right. It is what it is. Is it constitutional? Probably not. Are all of their fees supposed to be waived? Yes, because they're already getting money out of our SESTA-K trust, and all these fees should be waived, okay? Or there should be a wa fee waiver, but you can ask about that to any place that you pay a fee. And if they don't have it, they're probably lying because they're public servants, public officers, and they're getting paid out of our money. And so it has to be there. So they may not know, or they're probably lying to you. But don't give them a hard time. Just do what you got to do to get through, all right? The person this they had to speak to uh, was a name person by the name of Patrick White. 
who is over the application process. And their particular contact number is 470-312-2473. So they go, I hope this helps uh, those people in Georgia because it's not on their website. So there you guys have it. So this is public information. But of course, uh, because this is not their normal business, uh, they may not have it all listed. We're, we're going to assume that uh, it's not because they're hiding it. It's just that they haven't had time to update their processes. So that's it. So if this information helps you, now you guys can go forward and get your seals and get your stuff authenticated. You now know how to do it, the fee and who to contact. So which is nothing you couldn't do on your own, but in case you were having a hard time or you didn't know where to go, now you do. So if your state has a complicated scenario for obtaining the authentication or a seal on your documents, you can let me know and I will probably make a video out of it if I think it's one of the tricky states. Okay, there are a handful out there and though I know a lot, I can't be in every state to find out all of this. You know, like I said, I started off doing this for private use for me, and well, you guys just kept wanting more information, so let's just follow the rabbit trail, if you will. All right, so, or the wolf path, I think I like that better. Yes, indeed. All right, guys, so that's basically it. Not a terribly long video, so like I said, I don't expect a lot of this to be uh, something that everybody needs, unless you're from Georgia. However, your state might have a similar process. So in deciphering this, it might be something that'll work for you and yours. So once again, guys, that's it. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to support the, the Wolf Pack channel, um, the Bad Wolf Media channel on YouTube. Obviously here at James C. Lovett. I just started a Patreon over at uh, James C. Lovett, all one word. There are no videos yet. Um, but they will be coming soon, okay? Um, not tomorrow, maybe not even next week, but we're just setting up. And I've got a lot of videos to try to upload, uh, which I think only about 85% per of them will make it from here to there. But uh, feel free to join. Feel free to, uh, you know, keep track of that. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later because, well, I got stuff to do. And, um which also includes making more videos. So I'll talk to you later. Bad Wolf over now.